song Fresh Wind by Hillsong Worship is a slower worship song that features mainly 16th note grooves. We are going to concentrate on the patterns of those grooves as well as the subtleties of the ghost notes on the snare. All right, so grab your sticks, watch the music video and let's get to it. Pattern in the second chorus goes like this. Right, so the first thing that you'll notice with this groove is that we've moved the 16ths in our lead hand from the rim of the snare to the hi-hat. Okay, and again, if you're comfortable with the molar stroke, absolutely go for that. If you want to play straight 16ths or even 8th notes, to be honest, in this pattern, it'll sound great in this chorus, okay? If you want to play 8th notes on the hi-hat and concentrate on some of those ghost notes, that'll work brilliantly. It really will, okay? And so let's take a look at the rest of the parts. Now our kick, and it's kind of a theme throughout the song, is again on one E and da. Okay? It's one of the things that stays semi-constant. Okay? So one E and da, two, three, and four. Okay? Again, our backbeat is still only on beat four. We don't have a backbeat yet on two. That comes uh, just after the chorus and the tag, right? And so let's take a look at these ghost notes because it's slightly different here. Okay? So the one thing that we've added is it's quite a clever way. This is why I said in the intro, there's some subtleties to these ghost notes and quite an intelligent way of doing it. Okay. Cause you've got this pattern of like E and an and, okay, which I'll show you now. So the first thing we do is we put ghost notes in between the kicks. So if you think about it, we have one E and duh, okay. On the kick one E and a. Uh. So that E and we now put ghost notes on. Okay. So there's like a nice interplay. One E and the. Uh. Okay, so that's the first place. One E and the. Uh. We then have two and the. Uh, okay, so you'll see it's E and. Okay, one E and on the snare. Then two and the. Uh, okay, and then three E and four with the backbeat. So if you notice, we have with the snare ghost notes, we have E and on beat one, and the uh, of beat two. E and of beat three, and then we play the backbeat on four and do and -a of four as well. So it's literally E and, and -a, E and, and -a, okay? But because of where the kick and the backbeat are, it doesn't sound like it's just a repetitive pattern, but that's actually where those ghost notes are, okay? Gives it a really cool effect, okay? A really nice motion to it. And so let's put all those ghost notes uh, together on the snare. Okay, first we'll count them out, then we'll add the kick and the hi-hat, okay? So we have one E and two and uh, three E and four and uh, one E and two and uh, three E and four and uh, that backbeat on beat four. Okay, so let's put that together with the kick and the hi-hat. We'll take this slowly, okay? So three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and a uh, two and a uh, three E and four and uh, one E and a uh, two and uh, three E and four and uh. okay. So let me play this group slowly for you now. Let's go. So practice that along with the loops and let's go to our next section. <laughs> 